As an engineer, how do we understand team dynamics better and how do we effectively communicate with our team? Social awareness is the key to understanding the personalities in your group and how you fit into the group. So social awareness is the first part in social intelligence or SQ, and it's how well you can understand the social landscape and what's going on, you know, being able to see a room, read a room well, these are the type of things that social awareness encapsulates. And how can we get better at communicating and understanding team dynamics using social intelligence? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to actions, not words. So people say a lot of words, and you need to not only listen to what they say, but you also need to see if their actions are consistent with what they said they were going to do. So this is a great place for you to start learning social awareness. If you see things that seem a little off, or this person said they were gonna do this thing and didn't do this thing, that's a perfect spot for you to, okay, okay that's a bit different. This person said something and they did something different. Huh, wonder what that means. Hmm. This is where you're gonna start having literally more awareness over the social underpinnings of your group or organization. You also need to work on the awareness of your skills and abilities and your bandwidth to help. So if people are asking you, incessantly asking you for things, and you don't have any bandwidth to help, you need to develop tactful ways to tell those people no, while not closing off from any potential future professional networking relationship with this person, if that's something you don't want to close off. So I don't have any silver bolts for you, but I do have some tools where you can go start making your own silver bolts. One of these tools to help you start increasing your professional social network and social awareness is to praise loudly. I don't mean physically loudly. I mean, when someone helps you with something, especially if you've asked for it urgently, you should say thank you in such a way they can take credit with their management for helping you with this thing. This will make them feel good, it will make them feel seen, and it will also make it so they will likely take your call next time you call. So if you ask for things and you just act like they owe it to you and you never say thank you, those people probably aren't gonna return your calls particularly frequently if they do at all. That's not what you want if you wanna build your professional network. You need to be taking care of people. If you do have negative feedback to give someone, that should be done personally. So that should not be done in any group setting. It should be done as close to one-on-one, -on -one, preferably in person, and it should be done in a constructive manner instead of just rubbing someone's nose in it in a constructive manner saying, all right, this wasn't good. Let's not do this again. If someone's coming to you with a negative thing, you need to take that criticism and you need to be open to it because that's how you grow. If you show those around you that you're unwilling to take criticism, you know where the criticism's gonna go? You're never gonna hear about it. This is the craziest thing. If you show people through your actions, not through your words, that you're unable to take criticism, you're never gonna get criticized and you're never gonna grow. You're gonna stagnate in your career and this will continuously hold you back going forward. And that's not what I want for you. If you're starting out and you're in engineering and you're not particularly socially calibrated yet, you might have to overtly tell the people in your group that you're willing to take criticism. And when they give you criticism, even if it's not particularly constructive, so you need to do exactly what you said you were gonna do. I can take the criticism, right? So you said that, you need to act that. I can take the criticism, I took that. It's like, oh, you're totally right, all right. I'll work on that. I won't do that again. It's that easy. Now, if you get your claws out and fight back, well, it sounds like you're not ready to take criticism. So that's something for you to work on because being able to take criticism, even if you have to overtly say, yes, I can take criticism, when you actually are able to take it, people will give you feedback and that feedback will help you to grow your skills and progress in your career. And being able to take criticism, especially if it's not something that looks great for you, is a very good way for you to start being more authentic as well. Because if you can show off these edges and say, yes, I'm working on that. You're right, I shouldn't have done that. I won't do that again. If you can start doing these types of things, you'll be more authentic and people will start to trust you more because you are acting with integrity. You're acting in a way, your actions and your words are aligning. You have integrity, you do what you're gonna say, and you don't put yourself in situations where you can be misconstrued as being disingenuous. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay.
Click that link below and schedule a call with me today.